A violent weekend in Arlington, multiple shootings, many of them not far apart. News 4 Jack's reporter Marilyn Parker spoke with the new District 1 City Council electorate that, about what he thinks can be done to prevent crime in the area. You know, it was just two weeks ago where Sheriff TK Waters was at these apartments for a crime prevention walk. And since then, there were two additional shootings. So did that crime walk help or could more be done to prevent crime in Arlington? Stuff out here always happens like this. This woman tells News for Jax, like everywhere. <laughs> living in Arlington, you must be cautious. We spoke with her after police say a man was shot during an argument on Burt Road. They just get too carried away and just start fighting each other out here. It just gets crazy. It happened Monday morning at the Catalina Apartments. We asked District 1 City Council to let Ken Amaro to meet us there. Everyone's impatient. Uh, and everyone's swift to react by using a gun, and I don't know why. On Sunday, JSO was about 10 minutes from right here. They say a woman called police after her 23-year-old son told her their home was being invaded. When JSO arrived, they tried talking to him repeatedly. We're told the 23-year-old fired his gun out a window, jumped out that window, and while standing up, he still had the gun extended in his hand. An officer shot him three times, handcuffed him, then rendered aid. Police didn't find anyone else in the home, and the 23-year-old is in critical condition at the hospital. What I can say is this to those who are in the community that before you pull your gun, how about talking it up? Um, before you, you, you make a bad decision, how about thinking it out? Amaro also thinks JSO can intervene. Then, uh... Here's Sheriff TK Waters during a crime convention walk two weeks ago. This was at the same apartment complex as Monday's shooting. Amaro says these walks are effective, but wants to see them done more frequently and with a different approach. You actually go into the neighborhoods, the hot spots, if you will, and let them know that we the police are watching and we the police are warning you that if you don't turn this around, next time you see us, you'll be in the back of a squad car. Now, Joyce Morgan is the current council member for this district. She sent us this statement reading in part, the city of Jacksonville must continue to seek innovative opportunities to prevent crime in a holistic approach that provides funding for prevention, intervention, and enforcement. She says, and by the way, some of the best prevention comes with the economic opportunity, adequate housing education, and other quality life factors. Now, when Amaro takes office in July, he plans to meet with JSO to do more prevention. Reporting live, Marilyn Parker, Channel 4, The Local Station.